come here, Brenner. I want to show you something. Brenner walked up to what him. What are you about to show him? He grabbed his hand, reached into his what? pocket, and pulled out a pair of scissors and what? started cutting Brenner's fingers. What? I ran over to them to check on Brenner. Yo, what's up, Charming Squad? We're gonna be checking out Hammond Nations. My brother almost died 18 times. Yo, if somebody almost died 18 times, yeah, I will not be around them. They are bad luck, they're bad juju. Like, you get on a plane with them and watch that plane crash. I'm good. <laughs> uh, I, I missed this intro, man. It's classic. Let's get it. Hey, Brenner, if you jump off this cliff right now, I'll give you. Damn, Brenner! You even gonna think about it? <laughs> okay, Brenner, he... Hi, I'm Bryson, and a while ago, I made a video about the times I almost died and the times I got hurt really Was this, bad. was his voice always this but deep? that got me thinking about the other injuries in my Damn, brain. puberty. And one sibling came to mind, one who would dodge the grasp of death more times than I can count. The sibling who had little to no regard for his own mortality and would regularly hurt himself. Jumping the off the buildings. Child, will, the wild card. His brother, Brenner. This is gonna be a <laughs> long video because Brenner gets injured a lot. The young ones are always wild. Cut out good stories or do a part two, so let's just sit down, relax, grab some popcorn, and laugh at my brother's pain. Let's get it. Now, almost all of Brenner's injuries were self inflicted However, I think it's only right we start the video with Brenner's very first injury. What was the one it? he got from me. Brenner had recently you been born, and my parents beating up your son, to the room to your say brother, hi to my new baby brother. brother. As I said hello to him, he reached out his hand and scratched my chest. Oh, now, you gotta fight him. Brenner was just a baby. He had no control of his body. And Still was though, around. that was but disrespectful. My four-year-old brain could not let this slide. Hell yeah. <laughs> dare you first you come into my house take my spot let him know and take all the attention from my parents and now this i offered you my hand in friendship and you attacked me you must pay recompense for your action he started it you gotta scratch him back get him get him stop just calm down get him do it get him tried to stop me but it was too late i reached out and scratched him back and he cried and to cry and uh -huh. put me in time out that's what you get did brenner know his pain had just begun okay in all seriousness i felt really bad for what i did even now i still regularly apologize to brenner about you it. you don't even remember even remember it so he doesn't care of course not brenner, my conscience has really been getting to me lately and i'm so sorry about what i did you're a good brother that was 17 years ago can you just move on i forgive you okay thank you i love you brenner i'm so glad i could get that off my chest <sighs> remember in my pain video when my brother brody slammed the door on my fingers yeah apparently that experience runs in the family he brody got his fingers slammed a young brenner was sticking his fingers Ooh. in the hinges and brody slammed the door again gosh his fingers bent every which way I have gotten my fingers slammed or shut in a car door before. That is some of the worst pain you can ever imagine, guys. Like, I promise you, I will not wish that kind of pain on my worst enemy. Low key, I feel like it's a rite of passage. If you're a kid or if you were a kid and you never got your fingers crushed by either a door or somebody's foot or a car door, you haven't, you know, lived. You haven't fully become an adult. It's a rite of passage. If I had a nickel for every time I slammed a sibling's fingers in the door, I'd have two nickels. That isn't a lot, but it's weird that it happened twice. <laughs> Luckily, Brenner's he planned the second one. And the doctors fixed him up. Feel better soon, buddy, and don't get into any more trouble. I will make no such promises. One time, me and Brenner were playing tag, and rather than be tagged by me, he jumped into a oh street my. and the car barely avoided him. Are you crazy? Since Brenner was more willing to die <laughs> than lose at tag. Would you rather die a terrible death or- Definitely death. Wait, you didn't hear that? <laughs> I genuinely don't know why he is so accident prone, but this next story was no accident. You know how sometimes your mom has a really good friend, so mm. she decides to make you hang out with her friend's children? I like your mom's like friend. Them? Yeah. I'm kidding. When I was kidding. younger, my mom sent me and Brenner to play with the neighbor kids, Jake and Steven. They're eating the paper? The main reason I didn't like Jake was Ugh. because he said, your sister is so hot. Oh, I would hate Brittany that too. Was 18. <laughs> Jake and I were eight. I would hate that. <laughs> Have you considered shutting up? <laughs> right, Anyways, like, don't I tell me that. I tolerated Jake's shenanigans, <laughs> but eventually I hid from him on the front porch and watched Brenner and Steven play in the front yard. Come here, Brenner. I want to show you something. Brenner walked up to what him. About to show him. Grabbed his hand, reached into his what? pocket, and pulled out a pair of scissors and what? started cutting Brenner's fingers. What? I ran over to them to check on Brenner. His fingers were bleeding and he was crying. 
I slapped the scissors out of Steven's hand, grabbed him by the arm, and Are forced him inside. Are you kidding me? Hey, Steven just cut Brenner's fingers with scissors. Did you drop him on the head as a kid? Oh, Steven. Don't oh, Steven. That's it? Right? I was shocked. Call my mom right now. Honestly, pick us up. yeah. We're leaving. My mom will beat your ass Brenner's too. Fingers healed just fine. But still, that reaction from the mom was not okay. She crazy, bro. I never had to go to that family's house again. Mm -mm. Reminds me of another time Brody was really young and another boy was punching him. My mom took the kid to his mom and told her that his son was hitting Brody. And all she did was say, soft hands, Hunter. I mean, soft on, hands? Soft hands? <laughs> How about punishing your kid for hitting a stranger? <laughs> if you're gonna beat someone's ass, make sure it's soft. Children. Here, I'll show you how it's done. <laughs> yeah, beat that kid's ass. That's what I'm talking about. Do not spare the rod. A lot of Brenner's injuries were caused by him wanting to grow up fast and to keep up with his older brothers. For example. Wet. My turn. Better make that or it's horse. Ooh! Bryson doesn't need training wheels on his bike. So neither do I. And then watch you skirt. <laughs> How does that even happen? <laughs> oh, I have a trampoline injury. I feel like we all have a trampoline injury. Yep. Oh, God. One time, Brenner tried to mm. set a trend that the other brothers would follow, and the consequences were severe. This next story is the real reason I made this video. I'm honestly still surprised that Brenner survived this. Looks like we're about to hear something interesting, but I want to talk about the previous note about how parents don't discipline their kids. That has to be one of the most annoying things I have ever witnessed in my life. This kid grabbed a pair of scissors and cut the other kid's hand. And then all the mom's gonna say is, oh, Steven, and then you're gonna tell me you're punching my son and you're gonna tell me soft hands. I will beat that parent's ass. I, I'm allowed to, you know, I'm 18 years or older. <laughs> I'm honestly still surprised that Brenner survived this. It was bad. Oh, In our gosh. basement, we had a tall exercise machine that looked like this. This Brenner is going to be bad. Brenner decided that he wanted to climb it and jump off it onto our beanbag no. for fun. Classic However, Brenner this things. this time it went horribly wrong. Brenner pushed the beanbag close to the machine, mm -hmm. climbed up, and jumped head first with the same regard for his life that a Minecraft player has when seeing one block of water <sighs> at the bottom of the cliff. Part That's of dangerous. Part the beanbag covered the exercise bench, which extended out, hiding the big metal part underneath. Brenner thought that since there was part of the beanbag there, it would be soft. No, it would. not slammed through yep. the beanbag into the metal part yep. and split his forehead wide open. Oh my gosh! <laughs> I know he was screaming. <laughs> Mom and Brittany came running into Brenner crying with blood all over him. They freaked out and dashed him out of the house to take him to the hospital. Damn, Brenner. I Brenner. I caught a glimpse of him as they ran out. But <laughs> so accident prone. Him. Brittany and mom later told me that they Jeez. could see Brenner's skull through the gash in his head. No my way. My dad sent me to a friend's house so they could watch me while my parents took care of Brenner. This man I traumatized. I was sitting on their stairs, <laughs> terrified that I'd never see Brenner again. Probably I shouldn't mom, laugh. Please hear my prayer. If you make Brenner be okay, I promise I'll never be mean to him again. Cap. Why, why are you capping to God? <laughs> At the hospital, since Brenner was so accident prone, they kept pointing to cuts on his head that were from previous shenanigans. Is this cut old or new? Is this cut old or new? Is Someone this needs to old or new? put a hel helmet on him. Like this, the gaping gash on his forehead, that is new. Forget the rest of it, fix that. Somehow right? <laughs> the doctors patched him up. I think they even had a plastic surgeon involved in Ooh, fixing his head. You when sexy. When I next saw Brenner, he was up on his feet with 25 stitches in his head. But he was okay. Damn, Frankenstein's hey, monster. I thought you were going to die, Brenner. I'm so glad you you're okay. You got a brain transplant? <laughs> Anyway. Yeah, back to being mean. <laughs> I knew you was capping. I knew you was capping, bro. <laughs> Brenner still has a massive scar across his forehead, but thanks to the doctors, he was okay. Brenner, can you please calm down on the injuries? You're gonna die if you're not careful. It's not hard to die. I could do it like right now. But like number two. <laughs> Another time a young Brenner was using the bathroom and found a bottle of painkillers on the counter. Painkillers? Coated in a sugary glaze oh go down gosh, she's gonna have a so trip. Brenner took the pills one by one and sucked on them till they ran out He's of He's gonna have a wild he trip. He did this over and over and over. And from sucking on the pills, he got sick and passed out. I'm a tired. At least he didn't Ooh. swallow the pills. You know, that would have been awful. Ooh. My mom discovered Brenner unconscious on the bathroom floor surrounded by pills. What? <laughs> yeah, she and thought he was again, the dead. <laughs> why it's good to go to college. N not for me, though. But for you guys, good for you. I don't know how they saved him, honestly. I don't really know how doctors work. 
For all I know, they could have removed all of Ooh. Werner's blood, which Ooh. was tainted with drugs, thrown it away, then pumped him up with fresh blood. I don't know. Another time, he swallowed a bunch of coins and Damn, Brenner? Of rushed him to the hospital where he was x-rayed to show a pile Bro. of coins in his stomach. They this told is my poor parents to dig through his, ahem, waist until they got all the coins. Man, bro. <laughs> but way more disgusting. His insurance must be through the roof. He was what like a pig kind of kid. Way more disgusting. Honestly, <laughs> with how often Brenner visited the hospital, I'm surprised they didn't have a special section of the hospital just for him. I'm surprised they didn't like call the police on y'all ass and investigate, investigate, call social services. Cause bro, who gets injured that many times? 18 times? Good lord. Clearly the worst one was, you know, the head splitting open, but swallowing nickels or dimes, whatever it was, and then sucking the sugar coating off of pain pills? Bruh, I feel like that's some stuff, you know, it was in the past, obviously, but that's some stuff that will get you a visit from your local sheriff. This next story is surprisingly the only time that Brenner has ever broken a bone. You would think at this point that he would have no bones left because of how often he gets hurt, but no. Oh, Gumby headass. <laughs> My family has a small motorcycle that we call Big Bertha. It's fun to ride around on, Big but Bertha. it has no suspension. Ugh. Big he Bertha. Has two wheels and a motor. <laughs> That's it. One day, Brenner was driving it, and despite knowing that Big Bertha had no suspension, he decided to ride it off a curb. Oh no. The bike bounced, oh Brenner no. swerved and lost control, and he went head over handlebars. Ooh. <laughs> You broke, he what did you break? His arm and totally snapped his wrist. Ah, oh, that has One hurt. One hospital trip mm. later and Brenner had a cast. He <laughs> wanted his cast to be unique, so he asked me to paint it to look like Thanos' gauntlet. So I got the paint out and painted it as best I could Aww. to look like the gauntlet. You're a good brother. Cool, in my opinion. You're a good but brother. But then later, Brenner's arm got itchy. The doctors told him that his arm would be itchy at first, but that if he ignored it, the itchiness would go away. Oh, uh, it's all they mental. also specifically told him to leave the cast alone and to not shove anything into the cast. He's like a dog. Itch. You gotta put However, a cone on him. Itch got the better of Brody. <laughs> yep. So without consulting anyone, he grabbed Brody's glasses and started shoving the long end into his cast not, in an attempt to scratch his itch. Not the glasses. He pulled the glasses out only to realize that the little rubber covering had slipped off and it was now stuck in the cast. Uh oh. Scratches itch and recover the rubber cover. Brenner somehow removed all of the soft wrappings underneath the cast. You idiot! Leaving only the hard outer shell. Come Brenner on, had Brenner. His itch and was satisfied. <laughs> Brenner, come on. Then mom walked in and saw what Brenner had done. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta go back to the doctors now. How much money are they spending on this kid? <laughs> Damn, Brenner, you going they through went it. back to the hospital and explained the situation. Can you imagine being a doctor and setting someone up with a nice cast to help them heal and the next <laughs> time they ruined it? I feel like the maid. I just cleaned up this mess. We keep it clean for, for 10 minutes. At this point, I'm thinking like he was one of those kids who had to be put on a leash. And these are all jokes. I know he is an adult now and he is no longer, hopefully not longer accident prone. But you know those badass little kids who have those backpacks with the leash on it and the parents be holding it because they know if they just let their kids free roam, they're going to get into trouble or hurt themselves or both. <laughs> they had to cut off his Thanos cast and make another one for him. Brenner got home and asked me to paint his new cast. Aww. No, I spent a lot of time painting that last one and you ruined it. How do I know you won't ruin it again? That's Come true. Come on, man. Just paint it again. Why Why should I be penalized because of your sloppiness? Honestly. So Brenner went around wearing a lame blue cast rather than a cool Thanos cast. That a Thanos few was cool. later, the doctors <laughs> took off the cast and they realized that Brenner's arm had healed crooked. Oh. Literally like a 15 degree angle. Oh. My mom pointed this out and the doctor said, Yeah, well, it's within the range. No. That we consider to be acceptable. So <laughs> Fix it. <laughs> we're just going to leave it like Fix that. Fix it. <laughs> What? That's easy for you to say. You're not the one who has to live with a crooked arm. Honestly. Fix his arm and do it right this time. They have so to the re-break it. explained that in order to fix it, they would have to re-break yep. arm. They gotta re-break it. correctly and recast it. Do it. Wait, what? And do your job Wait, no. right this time. Oh, God. Ooh. Ooh. Ow. So did that and Brenner's arm eventually healed correctly. But Damn him. him. Now, you would think that after breaking his arm on Big Bertha, that Brenner would never touch that thing again, right? But he, but he did. Nope. Let me tell you one last story. One day, me and Brenner got bored and decided to go for a ride. Him on Big Bertha and okay. me in my go-kart. Yeah. We chased each other around a parking lot. Mario Kart in real life. How can I make racing around more interesting? 
and my mind went to my favorite oh, a banana peel Mario Kart banana you know, peel the game where you destroy your enemies by throwing <laughs> items at them so I decided to drive by Brenner and throw my flip-flops okay them. maybe went back and you know throwing you got the at each other you got have on you shells for some time then I zoomed by and got a good flip-flop strike Ooh, on Brenner. And nice. He wanted to retaliate with something stronger. Just like a Mexican mother a tree branch throwing a chonkla. He swung the branch and I swerved out of the way. But the branch was so heavy that swinging it threw Brenner off balance. <laughs> he swerved and flew over the handlebars once more. Y'all should Again. sell Big Freaking Bertha. Again. Bro, what? <laughs> Brenner was scraped and bruised, but luckily nothing broke. And he nice. finally learned his lesson. And Thank he you. Drive Big Bertha anymore. Thank but you. Oh, 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 oh. You're just like your brother, man. You're just as bad, bro. <laughs> Oh! We are at the end of the video, and yet, that's not even all of Brenner's injuries. But if I keep talking about them, this video is going to be 30 minutes long, and at that time, he'll probably injure himself again. <laughs> Let's quickly get through some last stories. Lightning round. We visited Lightning a janky round. aquarium that let you swim with sharks, and a bamboo shark bit Brenner's finger. Brenner Gosh. went to a trampoline park, attempted a stupid trick, and landed on his head. Ooh, and not again. A neck brace for a few. A neck Brenner brace? Brenner and Brody went kayaking. Uh -uh. Brody tried to splash Brenner with the paddle, but it skipped off the water. And he got slapped. And Brenner's face <laughs> and cracked his front teeth. A car almost backed over him as a child, but he hung onto the bumper while being dragged. Nice. And stopped the car to save Survivor's his instinct. accidentally shot him in the forehead with a BB gun, and his forehead still has a dent. Jeez. In conclusion, Brenner's guardian angel is built different. I need to see how he, he looks. Saved Brenner more times than I can count. <laughs> and as much as I make fun of him, I am grateful for that. As he has grown, I think he has gotten a little less accident prone. Let's hope it keeps going in that direction. He said a little. I'm pretty sure he has used up all of his nine lives. He has one God HP has left. He's sold back to the living world so many times at this point that if Brenner shows up there again, God might just say, Oh, forget it, and keep him. Well, hey, it could be worse. At least his soul is going to heaven. Oh yeah, yeah, I forgot you was Captain. <laughs> Said you was never gonna be me and your hey brother. Guys, it's me. I don't think I've ever heard that many accidents coming from one kid in my life, bro. Haminations, I'm glad your brother managed to make it to adulthood. I guess this is why you're supposed to have more kids because not all of them will reach adulthood. And you know, a lot of them will die in childhood like they did in the past, man. <laughs> it's still happening, bro. <laughs> but don't forget to subscribe, like, share this video. Because without further ado, that was it. My name is Prince Hawkum. Stay charming, my friend. Friends.